Okay, guys, I just did my Windows 10 system update. And when I came back, um, I had these small icons, some small and some the right size. The small icons are annoying because I had them the bigger size before. So I'm going to show you how to fix that or how I fixed it. And I hope it works for you. I want to let you know one more thing before we do that. Um, Besides it causing this problem, I noticed it also shut down my system uh, restore points. It completely erased all the restore points. Uh, at the end of the video, I'm just gonna show you how to fix that. And I'm also gonna show you one more problem at the end of the video so that you don't have to watch these things uh, if you don't want to. The other thing I'm gonna show you is if your icons get messed up, uh, they, they come back after you fix everything and they come back in the wrong location, that can be very annoying. So I'm gonna show you how to solve that problem uh, at the end of the video also. Uh, anyway, so yeah, these were here like this. Um, that's before, this is a screenshot. Ignore this, this is just a screenshot. Uh, and this is uh, after I fixed everything, okay? So, in order to fix this problem, what you'll need to do is right click, go to display settings. Okay, so all these are the same as they were before, which is a good thing. Um, this right here, this 250%, whatever that number is, maybe you haven't adjusted it at all, but remember what this number is, 250 in my case. Let's go into advanced scaling settings. Um, I, I think this can be on or off for this to work, but when I first came in, it was on, I switched it to off. Um, now go in here and whatever that number was, 250 was my number. Do that and then click apply. When you click apply, it's gonna say that you have to sign out of your computer. So go ahead click apply, go ahead and sign out of your computer. And now everything looks really small like this. So let's go back to display settings. Let's go back to advanced scaling settings. It says a custom scale factor is set, turn off custom scaling. So when we were in advanced scaling, you know, we turned on the custom scaling so now we're gonna turn that back off right here, which is gonna sign us back out again, which means I have to stop this recording, come right back at you. Okay guys, I just uh, signed back into my computer. And as you can see, all my icons are back to normal. They all look great. So that's how I fix that. The other thing is, I told you your restore points are going to be uh, gone and erased, and restore will be shut off. So let's go here to restore. I already turned my restore back on and created a restore point, so you'll probably have a different choice than it'll like create a restore point or something. So anyway, you're just gonna have to go back in there and um, when you get in there, you hit uh, configure and you turn on the system protection. So you need to do that and make sure you have plenty of space for uh, how much, how many restore points you want allowed to be stored but it's automatically disabled when you do an update, which really is not cool. So I'm gonna go ahead and apply that. Very cool. Then you'll go ahead and create, type a description. Maybe you'll put in uh, after update. Note, updates, destroy, restore points and then maybe a bunch of exclamation marks to show how angry you are about that <laughs> but anyway anyway by putting this anytime you go back and do a restore it'll remind you 
that updates uh, kind of suck. All right, so I'll just go ahead and rec recreate that. What if you come back and you had all your icons organized, right? And those uh, icons were now in the wrong positions, which could be very frustrating. So I had that problem before, which is why I downloaded this program here. Um, it's a real simple program. It's called Desktop OK 7.97 or whatever. And what I do is, uh, like I can hit save right now and it saves this current uh, icon layout because Windows doesn't have a way to do that and Windows will screw up your icons from time to time. So I recommend that program. Like it, like it. Comment. Subscribe now.